the trains run everything in. We work for the trains. Men work for the trains. The bosses work for the trains. Okay, we're back talking about this show that's going to open up November the 6th, okay, at the theater, okay, right there on DeKalb Street between Lafayette and Main Street, okay. The Life of John Henry by Chris Barak. Now, Chris, come on, tell us a little bit more about this show. <clears throat> okay, well, the show is... Um Technically, very challenging, both in terms of, of, of putting a lot, it together. A lot of it. talking in it. Uh, there's a, there is some That's talking. That's the in it. challenges, a lot of right? Well, no. There's more challenges than just that. A lot of the things the actors have to do are, are physically very, very demanding. They're, they're, oh. It's like it's a really physically exhausting show. Um, Maurice has to cough for for five minutes. The guys are having swinging these hammers that they have to. That they've been, and it's there's a, something about it. I I think you don't often see it in the theater, but. Theater often has the same feel to it that um, an actor has the same feel that a, an athlete has, where you're doing um, something that's, that's very exhausting and that's very challenging and that you're really sort of pushing yourself to a kind of limit and that that's what's compelling to watch right. about that. Right. Well, we started off with rehearsals, right? They had this big heavy bag just stuffed with just rags and everything. And then they gave us all, like, you know, basically pickaxe handles, and yeah. they're like, start wailing on them. Yeah, start like wailing a, on them. About 15 minutes into gang, it, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're all chained to each other. Yeah, by the way, there's a chain gang. We're all, all chained up the entire time. But about 15 minutes into that, we're all sweating. Cash is like, I'm going to the gym. I got to start working on my endurance. It was hilarious. But, yeah, the, yeah. Whole, the, the whole thing is, is, is very physical. It's very physically challenging. I mean, we, right. I've been sore after the rehearsals. And remember the lines and, yeah, and, and the positions. Gotta, yes. and all, you know? yes. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a, I'm a former professional boxer. Okay. I fought, you know, uh, uh, big, pretty big fights, spectrum, different places. Now, roughly big fights. And... Uh, you know, and, and, and I, I was physical. I mean, I had to be in shape, you know, to worry about the guy. I didn't know how to slip and slide, punch, you know. But the challenge is, when I'm in the dressing room, to go out into the ring with four or five, 6,000 people out there, some people are, are, are rooting for the other guy, you know, and it's a challenge. And it's almost the same challenge. So I, I feel the same thing as you as an actor, when you're waiting to come out there and that, that, that sh the curtain goes up, you're, you know, and, and, and everybody's just waiting to hear and you're there. Let me tell you, it's just as a football player, a baseball player, whatever. It's a challenge. Well, and the concentration so I, and I want that you have go, to have. When you see Absolutely. a show like this, I want you to appreciate what these people do to practice and rehearse. The, and the concentration that you have to have to do. There's a lot right. of actors who've been doing a great job in the show. A lot of other guys too. Um, uh, uh, Adam Altman. Adam Altman, Adam Altman. Um, uh, has been working with Iron Age for a while. Um, What's David's last name? Right, David. Right. I don't know David's last name. Huh? Oh, you know. guys work with him every day. I, he's yeah. just David. David. David Chuck, just, there's a couple of guys who've been, yeah. who've, been, who've, been, who've been working with Iron Age <laughs> for a uh, while. Uh, uh, Fiebert. Yeah, 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 yes. But Dave, Dave, Dave Fiebert, he's been a friend of the uh, theater for about whew, about 20 years now. And, 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 and he's been uh, working with them about uh, three now. And Adam and Dave play three different characters apiece. Mm -hmm. So they got some serious challenges with, uni with uh, you know, costume, costume changes, changes. etc. Mm -hmm. But they, they are really knocking it out the park. Uh, it's just, just the way they make their transitions and the way that they're, right, you know, right. they're carrying on this story. It's just interesting just to hear, just as being backstage or being on the set and, and, and watching these guys work. So you they're, they're really- You want to stay way when they come off stage, because when they start changing, they will knock you over. Yeah, out of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we need yeah. to help them out back there, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, what the, how, how you know, I, I, when I went to Rittenhouse Junior High School, uh, it was a show, it was, uh, and I had one part. All I had to do was go out there and say a couple words or something, and I froze when I went out there, you know. And I only had two or three lines to, to, to say, and I, and I froze. How can you continue to do this? How do you psych yourself up to be able to remember this? I mean, you know, it, it's well, almost like, you know. Uh, well, it's a play. I mean, I remember, you know, I, I played football growing up. We would practice. Is that almost the same? Now, it, am I, now am for I me, the truth in, in my conditioning of what I'm getting myself prepared for, every play is designed to go a certain way or designed to do a certain thing, gain a right, certain amount right. of yardage. You press play and you basically, you know, let the thing run. So what you do is you, you have to practice and practice and know right. your assignment, know your position, like know your Iverson. place. And, practice, man, and, and, practice. Well, not exactly like <laughs> Iverson, yeah, but we have to really rehearse this. And this right. is... Yeah, rehearse, we actually rehearse, have to know, practice. We have to really, you know, because it's a, it's a very involved script and it's a lot of involved physical, you know, things happening. So 
you got to get to a point where you're, you're, we know where we are so that we can, because that kind of helps you with knowing when your lines are coming up and, and everything that goes along with how you develop your character. So it, it's interesting. Yeah, uh -huh. on top of the, like the lines and things, I mean, we also have sledgehammers. Everybody's, as we mentioned before, everybody's right. chained to each other. Right. We have musical instruments on stage. Yep. We have frequent costume changes. Right. And we have lots of elements just in terms of the lights and the right. set, right. which is, the set looks incredible, you know. It's, right. It sets up. To be able the, to change yeah. scenes and all. Yeah, well, how about, right. is this the first one you wrote? It's not the first one I've written. It's the first one that has gotten a professional production. Um, I, I've written other plays before that probably for uh, many of the challenges in this play were in some of the earlier plays, which is probably the reason why nobody does them. Um, they were technically very often very challenging plays. Um, this one in particular, the set design for this one. This is the one we're talking about. This yes. is John Henry. Right yes, Life of John Henry. Um, the set design for this one, just written into the script without... I was absolutely did not consider at all how difficult it would be well, wait, 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 to build wait, the set for it. Why, why, why did you pick this? I mean, of all the <coughs> men in this movie and all that, why, what, what, what influenced you to go for this? Well, I've read a book because of, because about... Of, uh, the struggle these fellows went through? Yeah, that's, this? that's part of it. But one of the things that I've read this book about John Henry and about how the stories, the songs about John Henry usually portray him as being the sort of uh, a freelance professional laborer who made a lot of money doing his, his work and um, you know had fancy overalls and a, and a hammer like that, right? But in fact, most of the work done on the, uh, the railroads in the East Coast was done by prison laborers. And yeah. prison laborers, right. especially during that time, it was, not, uh, it was not a just legal system in any way. Um, the, I get they, the, they got paid weekly, very weekly. They didn't get paid. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, well, they got away. They got away. They, got away. <laughs> they were running out, they were running out for, for cents, for pennies a day that yeah. the warden collected, and those guys never saw because those guys never got out of jail. The, in order to be able to continue to rent them out, the many of the prisons just kept adding years on to people's sentences just so that they would never get to keep them there until they died. And, and yeah. really an astonishing number of men died at that this. Was, yeah. And so I read about that and realized that there's that, something very sort of powerful about it. That would interest about, me. I, I would, I would, that's yeah. interesting. There was yeah. exploitation. The show's going to bring that out. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 Also, I mean, if you think about John Henry in comparison to uh, two other famous. Oh, oh, we're going to another clip. You're going to go to another clip? We're going to oh, go to another clip. We brought a lot of clips. 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 We